This is my journey of the Dean. This is my journey. How I started praying. Really? Mm. I was walking once. This is winter night like this. I never forget. This like really changed my life. Yeah. I used to have Premiership footballers in my front room. Now I'm rock. What's going on, people? Welcome to the Minted Minds podcast. Um, for the first episode, we have a very special guest, um, Cameron Arif from the Lime Tree Clinic. Uh, what's going on, bro? Guys, uh, Salam Alaikum. How you doing? You okay? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Everything's well. Everything's good. As good as it can be. You know me. Always. Yeah. Always, nothing to complain about. We can never complain, can we? No, I've noticed no. about you, my brother. Mm-hmm. You're always happy, man. Alhamdulillah, positivity, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if we're not going to be happy, how are we going to radiate happiness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You give off what you, what you give off is what you return, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah what true. one has been forced, yeah. it comes back to you. So I believe that whatever, if you start off on a good mindset, if you wake up in the morning, you wake up, you smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you smile, you look at the window, and you think, even if it's dark and gloomy, you think, you know what? It's all right, man. It's mm-hmm. not too bad. If they were going, if you wake up and think, oh man, the day's rubbish. What am I going to do? Where are you going to be? Down mm. the dumps, isn't it? Mm. Mindset like, is everything. It's like law of attraction. Law of attraction, it? positive mindset is you everything. Give out what you want to, you know, what you want to, what you want to receive, yeah. what you want to achieve. Good energy, good vibes. Good energy. It's all about that, man. It's all about that. Right, let's get into it. So, uh, it. Cam, it. you do uh, cropping hijama. Mm-hmm. Um, you do it for the big boys. That be, you know, big for the elite, as they call them. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> elite, yeah. So, tell us a little bit more about that. What you, what you do? How do you do it? Um, what got you into it? I mean, you, you've been a patient yourself, you've come to see me. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah I've you've, come myself. You've come, yeah, yeah. You've come yourself. So it's just, what got how, about, how long ago was that? I think about... About a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to come again. Time flies, man. Back to you, I need to learn as well. My brother's been quite regular. I need to come there. Whenever you're ready, guys, whenever you're ready, it's just COVID at the moment, it's going to be safe. It's madness, you know, it's going to... Are you still, like, running? We're operating, obviously, with the contract work, we still operating because it comes with the key workers. But the rest of it, we've kind of slowed it down a bit because it's just COVID. You don't know what's going on. It's crazy times right now. with the footballers? Because footballers... Yeah, it's contractual. Key workers, aren't they? Footballers. Yeah. So you've, you've been got injuries. You've, you've so, got you, so you can do it on them. Yeah, yeah. I've still been going. Oh, that's, still be, that's why I'm in Manchester quite a lot. With, with, with yeah, yeah, Man City, yeah. Man United, these places. I'm still with these clubs. So mm. and I'm still there. I have to make sure that if they, if I get called any any moment, I've got to go out there. And so if you look in my bio on Instagram, it's Birmingham. Yeah, exactly. so you go to Manchester mm. quite a lot. I'm in Manny all the time, and I'm always yeah, yeah. in Manny. You've got a lot of clients in Manchester. I work at the football clubs, don't I? Man City, okay, Man City, okay. Man U. Yeah, so yeah. if you're Man City, Man U, you've got to be around that area all the time. Yeah, I want to get into that because obviously you're working with a lot of footballers. Yeah, 100%. Love uh, athletes. We all, I want to get into that. I want to get how you got into that. Yeah, yeah, of course. We'll basically, talk a of course. About that. So, yeah, we'll so let's let's start off by what what is copying, bro? What what is copying? Is basically, it's an ancient form of decompression therapy where it drains out all the stagnant, inflammatory blood in the body, the dead cells, the protein, the bacteria. It's quite hard to understand if you're not medically applying it. So for mm. the outside guy, it's like, oh, I was just taking cups and I was taking blood out. Yeah, but yeah, there's more yeah, to it than that. It's more of a, more. So what we've done, we've taken a medical approach to it. So we swung it rather than just having the hijama. We thought, right, let's bring a medical approach to it. Lock both, excuse me, angles together and then boom, we'll come out of that therapy mm. and combine it with osteopathic manipulations, different stuff where we thought, you know what, mm. let's do it properly. That's how we tailored it towards the footballers, the mm. elite performance therapy. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, we'll it. so, so initially, it's basically taking the bad blood out. The initial, yeah, the stagnant yeah. blood, the inflammatory stagnant. build up in the body. So when you've got a pain, your yeah, body yeah. creates inflammation. Mm. When you have an inflammatory build up, the, what's going to happen in that area is going to linger, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's just going to be there. So it takes out all that stagnant inflammation and resets the body. So if you've got a pain in your lower back, once yeah, you drain yeah. that area, all the fresh blood of the body, all the fresh platelets will go to that area and back it up as a reserve. So it helps regenerate. And it, and it helps a lot of illnesses as well. A lot of illnesses. It? Generally, internal illnesses, you've got a lot going on inside the body. Yeah, I see yeah, a yeah. lot of people, they have it like on their head as well. Yeah, it? especially if you've got a dirty mind. You've know I mean? <laughs> 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 got a dirty mind, guys. You know I mean? Go for the head. You're not, 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 you're not,
straight out and then it's just okay. boom. There's no air. Is there is any like benefit of one or the other or is it just... Dry, yeah, it drives brilliant as well, but it's a slow version. Okay, so if you're an athlete, you want to get back on the pitch straight away. You mm. want to do the wet, you want to get in, out, you want to be recovered straight away. Okay, if okay. you do for general maintenance along with yoga, pilates, planks, a general lifestyle, then drives brilliant as well. Okay. Drives works wicked, especially for like people with sciatica trap nerves mm. and the suction of the dry works wonders. Mm. You've seen the bamboo ones that I use sometimes, the big yeah, one yeah, ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's got more surface area in there. So, so you can pull out a lot more or something. So it's got a lot more suction. So we apply the fire in there, woof, apply it and then yeah. bam, it catches. I've seen yeah. the one there where you put like fire in. Yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. So we use the, the, the fire rod, apply that. That just takes. Is that, one dry, is, that, is that dry cup? That's dry. It takes the oxygen out of okay. the cup and the oxygen comes out, it's just going to suck it naturally. It sucks onto the surface of the skin. And it's amazing, it's good. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Cam's been working with the most, I'd say, you know, top athletes yeah, out there. Alhamdulillah, yeah, alhamdulillah. So the likes of Anthony Joshua, KSI, um, you know, who Paul, else? Who Paul, else? What would you Paul say? Pogba, though? Paul Pogba is one. Paul Pogba is one. Paul Pogba's Most of my new man city, most of the stuff is on my yeah. gram, to be fair, but some people I can't post or promote due to like okay, okay. clauses and stuff like this. Mm. And, be, and generally, I'm going to keep it real, I'm going to be straight with you directly, obviously, being, um, being Muslim. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's certain people that I do do work with Okay. But they're not promoting the right line. They're not okay, promoting okay, the right, okay. you know, yeah, image. Yeah. Image. So yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. post them for a reason because okay, okay. even then people said to me, "Oh, you don't post us? Why not? Mm. You take pictures, but you don't you ask us a picture. You don't, you don't post." I said, "Look, I'm, I've got to be straight with them. I can't beat around the bush. It is what it is. Would well, I want my kids to be talking about drugs and guns? Mm. Would I want my kids to, to be talking about drugs, guns, and mm. banging off shots and talking about pulse calls? I don't want my kids. Oh, like art, music artists, music artists, stuff like talking about killing people. Do I don't want my kids around that. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. You wouldn't want to be promoting that using your own platform. Exactly. So much like you've got a big platform. Yeah, so I use my platform to yeah, yeah, yeah. bring negative. Yeah, yeah. what, what we started off about bringing that energy. If I start posting these rappers and yeah, these guys yeah, who are yeah, doing yeah, this 100%. kind of stuff, you got the kids who are, I want them to look at something positive. Why post a lot of footballers and athletes so kids can go down that path eventually? Rather than having following a path of like, you got to remember, look, I know these guys personally. You know, half these guys that you see, see who are living this life, it's all fake, you know. Mm. You know, even you know, notorious B.I.G. Biggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't worked with him, but um, this is a story I've heard about him. Yeah, yeah. I was, 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 I <laughs> yeah. You know, with Biggie, my man came from a comfortable home. I used to rap about guns, drugs, and living. living rough. Same with uh, Rick Ross. Yeah. I think he was. He came a, from absolutely perfect home. What was Rick Ross? All a lot of bollocks. Like? All a lot of bollocks. And all these kids, how many people got shot dead listening to these songs, thinking, yeah, we're following the Biggie and Tupac lifestyle? But really, these guys were. Posh boy. Posh boys. So, yeah, do you think, you know, do you think, so, <laughs> you know, we, let's take it back to, um, you know, social media now. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, we've all got access to social media. We can all Palm of your portray phone. a life that we may not be living. Class, all lies, yeah. deception. So, obviously, I think, you know, there's a lot of people that say your social media is bad. We forgot how to conversate with people now. Mm. You know, I remember how we met. How we there, started, was, course, there was no social there was media. No social media. Do you know what I mean? We used to, either, you know, people used to knock on your door. Probably or, you know, MSN real, days was probably was the real, most. High days and yeah, real yeah, days. Yeah. Yeah. Proper timing. Yeah, good days, you know, social media, let me say one thing about social media. If it's not used the right way, if you're not used, if it's not used by a... You know, this is, I'm going to keep it real. Keep it real, I'm man, linked with it. the scholars. Alhamdulillah. Okay. I'm perfect. Look, guys, I'm perfect. I'm far from perfect. But I've got ulama that look over me, scholars that look over 100%. me. Now, I'm very passionate about my deen. You probably noticed that. You know, I ain't yeah, perfect, please. but um, it's, it means everything to me. Now, I'm at a point now where when I post something, if something's wrong, I've got ulama who tell me, scholars who tell me, say, Cam, this is not right for your... For mm. your. That's key purification, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Listen to the ulama. Yeah. Now, when you look at the ulama, who the ulama? People think the ulama are nothing. Now, everyone becomes a scholar. Everyone talks a bit of Arabic. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're, we're scholars? No, yeah, no, 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 no. A scholar is not a joke. Now, what is a scholar? He has a son of a chain linked from him to his teacher, to his teacher, to his teacher, to his teacher. To his teacher linked to who? To the Prophet Sallam, to Jibra'il, to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And that is not a joke. Mm. Are you going to negate that, that link? If a person from that knowledge is telling you about your religion, Alhamdulillah, and telling you, Cam, this is not right for you, that's going to help you, isn't it? So do you think that because you've got such a big platform, mm-hmm. uh, mashallah, on you know, social media, so you've got, you know, I don't know how much followers you got now, you've got quite... Uh, I'm a person, I've got about 12.5, yeah. 12. and the other one, i got about 171, one, I think, 172. Yeah. So that's a big platform, it so is, you, are, you know, I can imagine. Do you feel as if there's a big responsibility now there that is, you hold? Hence why, hence why the ulama are involved in my platform. Hence why mm-hmm. the ulama are involved. If I post something wrong, if you look on my, look on my, on my lunch clip page, I used to post a lot of knees, I don't post knee injuries no more, because it's the order of a man. Yeah, is yeah, that yeah. see people? Okay. And people don't realize. Mm. So oh, you don't post about the knee no more. Mm. You don't. You don't repost my story about the knee. I can't because Islamic is the aura. Okay, so did did the scholar come and the, approach? The, the, the said, mentioned this to me. The okay. scholar mentioned this to me. He goes, Cam, because the aura it, it can't be exposed. So I pulled everything back. When you make qurbani for Allah, Allah will make a way for you. Yeah, when
about now we're swinging it off to political, but it is what it is. Something, something about his salary or something. He's about a, a Uyghur Muslims in China. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, now yeah, look what's yeah, happening yeah. in China. Now he spoke out against that. Why shouldn't he? Mm. Why fear the blame? The blame. Speak the hawk when you have to. And he's got a massive platform. As and, well. he, and he spoke. The, he, stu- he stood by his gun and spoke the truth. Exactly. Didn't he? When you speak the truth, you'll always prevail. Hundred percent. Trust you're, me. You know, when you kept your roots. When you stick to who you are. You're why should we change? Be. Why should we? Like, you know, you guys. Are from, I'm from Birmingham, Alam Rock. Yeah. I'm still from Alam Rock. Yeah, yeah. I still live in a three bed in Alam Rock. Hmm. I, mean, I don't live in Mayfair. I don't live in nowhere posh. I don't live nowhere. But I'm still the same guy, and I. You could if you want. Never change. If I want to, I can shift over. I can do what I want. I can change my whole lifestyle if I want to. Yeah. I'm in options, but. That ain't me, man. That ain't me. I find contentment in this basic stuff. Best tea in the house, by the way. Sweet dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best, best <laughs> I like tea. that little plug. <laughs> best tea, man. Trust me, I'm, I'm all about the tea. You know, guys, you know, I love my tea. Cup of tea. You know, cup of tea. <laughs> cup of tea, guys. Check them out. Sweet dreams. Trust me, I might just say it, man. The tea's on a different level. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, guys, back to that. Yeah. Back okay, to so, so you've, you know, let's let's take it all the way back then. Because obviously I've known you since I was 16, 16 years old. 15, yeah, back 16, in the yeah. days. Um, up to no good. Um... <laughs> So tell us uh, what your life was back then, how it was, and how it changed into the you man know, you are it today. Was, it wasn't. It wasn't the best man. It wasn't the best. It was. It was something that we were seeking that wasn't true. Okay. We were seeking an image that wasn't true. We were seeking something that was not true. But we were ultimately seeking what we got now, to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dean, peace, Allah. These things, mm. things, a rectification of the heart. We were ultimately seeking this, but we were finding it in the wrong avenues. In the wrong ways. There'd be times where I was speaking to a good friend of mine. And he's, 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 he's a stars that all of my well. He said to me like, "Can I go to the park in the night and I'd just look up at the stars and I'd cry?" This is a friend of mine, one of my teachers, and he goes to me, this is how bad I feel. But the next day, I'd mask it over. Same with us. We'd fall into more sin to mask over what we're doing. Not realising that we do. We'd fall into more into more fitna, mm. more problems, just to mask over the pain of what we're really going through. Because once your friends leave you, they jump on the bus, they go home, or they do whatever, go, everyone goes home. At the end of the day, you're still going to be left in a zone where you're going to be thinking, you know what, hold on. What you feel you feel empty inside. Mm. You feel empty. So for me, life was when I was at that age. I was wild. Do you remember me? I was wild. Yeah. I was I was, just, I was very very. I had no filter. I was very crazy. Mm. But who was I ultimately doing that for? Because generally, I think I'm a nice guy. Mm. I don't think I'm a bad person. I'm not perfect, but I don't think I'm a bad person. So ultimately, what was I doing that for? I c- how, many, how much can I blame my shit on? Yeah, I can't blame true. everything on him, can I? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and I look at myself as well. Then I realized that you know it's time to swing it over. It's time to find the true piece, the real meaning of what my life is about. Alhamdulillah. Was there any Allah. event, any specific event that made you think, you know, what I, what I'm doing now? I was getting into is... a lot of trouble, bro. You remember, man? I was getting into a lot of trouble, man. Yeah. I was getting into a lot of trouble. But was there was there one that stood out? There was, was there one where it made you think, you know what? I need to stop this. Do you because know a lot of people that I spoke to that were on the same sort of, mm. um, you know, on road and there was a few. There was a few stuff that really stepped out. And a few was it a collection really... of like things that made you think, you know, what I need to? You know what happened to me? This is, and not many people know this. You know, not, not in my own close circle. I don't know this, but I didn't mention this. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be real with it. Nice. It is what it is. I'm gonna be real with it. Yeah, and this is what really changed my life. You know, and you know what? It's important. I think, um, you know, obviously you don't have to say things that you don't want to have to say. On the no, no, I'm gonna drop yeah? these. Well, people know me. They but know I me. think. I think it's. I think it's going to bring a lot of value to the audience because course, there's going because to be a lot of youngsters out there that are probably watching this. Sure, 100%. Maybe in the same situation that you of were course, in back exactly, in the day. Exactly. You know exactly. I mean? If that struggling with certain course. things or they're surrounded by the wrong people and they're, mm. they're genuinely the inside they want to get out. They want to get, but they all want they to have escape. to put exactly. this front with their boys. They and have to, man. Yeah. Peer pressure or exactly. just genuinely just want the money exactly. and they can see. They, they fall on a path like... Now, you know, basically when I was... You remember me. Remember yeah. when, I was, when, I got to, when I left school, I was messing, I was always getting arrested, I was always doing spells here and there, I was always, always messing around, always up to no good. And then as a, as a so-called hero, my love my sins, I came on road. I came on road for a bit. I came on road and um, I um, started doing certain things. I thought, yeah, let's, let's, do, let's do this. Mm. And I'm one of them guys, unfortunately, whatever I do, I do to the best of my ability. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So whether it's good, I'll do it, whether it's bad, I'll do it to, do it to the best of my ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when I came on, I was taking out the elders. Mm. So you got to remember, I came on, I came on and I was taking the elders out of the game. So I'm a 15, 16 year old, I'm taking the elders who are doing it for, doing it for years, and I'm taking them, I'm taking, they're like, what's going on here? I'm how, shooting how, them down. How old were you at this point? Oh, 16, 15. 16, yeah. Mind you, started when I was 14 in school. Oh my God. In school, I used to go to school yeah, in yeah. case. People would go with station, I'd go with other stuff in there. <laughs> People used to sell sweets at school. Yeah, know? I used to sell stuff, I'd love to give my sins, you know what I mean? So it was yeah, different. Yeah. So I, yeah. I lived a totally different life, and you knew yeah, I was yeah. quite reputable at like that, as, as, as I used to hear my name about yeah, 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 floating course, because yeah, yeah. I was quite, I was quite mm. handy with my fists, like, you know, I was a bit naughty, yeah. but... It was, yeah. I was never a bully, I was like, always knew my morals, I always knew what I was doing. You've boxing as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was always into my training, I was always been like, I was, always, I was never scared, I've never been a scared guy, I've always been quite, quite a brave cookie like that. Mm. You know, alhamdulillah, but only for the huck, for the bright. Even when I was young, even when I was young and I was active in that path and I was messing around, mm. I, I only fought for a reason. If anyone yeah, wanted yeah. it, then I'll spark him out. Generally, I won't just go and knock a man out cold,
I also had a lot of grievances with a lot of different areas. A lot of people started people started hating me. Mm. Look, you have a skateboard, they hate you. Yeah. The yeah, world yeah. we live now, you buy a skateboard and they hate you. So imagine if you're making two and a half, three bags a day at that age. That's like nine grand after. So take. pretty much you're saying they're they're always gonna look for a reason to hate. Exactly. Even if you've got a skateboard, yeah, yeah, if you're yeah, riding yeah. a skateboard, they'll say, Oh you so they'll always hate you anyway. Mm. So whether you're doing bad, but you know, I'll, I'm gonna go get back to the topic of hate as well about this and how it doesn't change. Mm. So part said Jeep, it's deep, let's finish this up first. So we're there now and um we we do nothing, we do nothing, we do nothing. And of come on, come on. But remember, I'm a one-man band. Yeah. I'm a one-man band. Now I'm a one-man band. And in that kind of line of work, you got to wake up early. You've got to do everything. And there's a lot of, lot of pressure. I'll tell you what changed me. So I kept doing that. And haram will never benefit you. Trust me, you'll never sleep yeah. at peace. You'll never. But one thing I did, I never took that money home to my parents. I never consumed haram to my I never gave for I'd sign on my gyro. I'd give that give that dream home. I'd never give the haram so to my parents. So you knew what you were doing. I wasn't knew, gonna benefit. I knew mm. deep down what is right and what is wrong. Yeah, yeah. But I felt like I had no choice. But we have got a choice. Trust me, people, we've got a choice. I think that's gonna, I, felt, I think that's mm. common in a lot of people where they feel they as if, feel they're trapped. Yeah, they feel yeah, like they're trapped by the system. There's not, not many opportunities. It's all upon it. yourself. It's all upon mm. what you do. Okay. It's all upon what you do. So what happened then was, I've come on now. I never forget and um, do my thing. Year, two years went past. Went Pakistan, come back, but chilled out for a bit. And this one, I'm just learning about the deen now. I'm starting to know about my religion now, about prayer, about what to do, what not to do. But at this point, I'm becoming very, very hated in the community. Mm. As they say, look at this and there's a hadith. The name is mean that when you do haram, Allah subhanahu wa taala curses. The skies and the floors that curse you, then the angels, the heavens curse you. I'm sure it goes to the to, to, to nearest meaning. I'll, I'll get it all properly for you. And then I guess to a point where the angels curse you in the heavens and the floors are commanded to curse you in the heavens. The earth, the, everything around you curses you. You become a hated individual in the society because mm. you're going against Allah's welcome, especially when you're doing wrong. So what happened then was I'm doing this, doing this, doing that, and walking. And where I live by Red Park first originally, yeah, yeah. I was walking once. This is winter night like this. I never forget. This like, really changed my life. And a week or two before, I'm thinking, I want to get out of this, man. I've had enough of this, man. I can't. I just can't do this no more, you know what I mean? I can't do this no more. Mm. So I thought, okay, perfect, let's, let's not do this. And I was wall driving an X5, remember the X5s, the old five, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. An X5 pulled over next to me. I'll never forget this. And my older brother was involved in quite a few politics when he was, when he was young, and he got involved in a bit of beef. I thought it might have been an active firm that was coming from them. Right, okay. Mm. okay. For me, because he was on, if it's my brother, it's with me, same thing, it's on. Yeah, it is yeah. what it is, and you know, it's my brother, if it's yeah, with him, yeah. it's on with me as well. And we had, but there are brothers now who, who had this problem with that brothers, alhamdulillah, I've got a lot of love and respect. And, but it was active at that point, it was deep beef, okay. you know what I mean? What mm. we call deep, you know what I mean? It was really, really deep beef, where we'd like, every time we see each other, we'd fight. So it was at that level where it was, um, we were moving on a vibe, but it was totally different. But subhanAllah, hope you got a lot of time. Hope you got a lot of time. Bro, it's all coming back now, it's all coming back. Yeah, it's the first time I opened about this, you know. I was there now, and I'm walking down Morris Road. It's a big hill, Morris Road. I don't know Morris Road, yeah. It's walking down Morris Road. The next five, and I'm moving. I just switched off my line. Come, switch off, time to go home. Walking down Morris Road. Put my stuff away, do my thing, walking down. Next five pulls next to me. Four guys with a balaclava, fully masked out. Four guys, fully bodied out, grown men. I've always been a small guy. I've yeah. been stocky back and forth, but I've always been a small guy overall. Four guys in a balaclava come out. One drops me and looks at me. And normally I'd get off. Mm -hmm. You think, get off, we'll yeah, deal with it when I see you. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know who yeah, you are, yeah, but yeah. If, if it's on, get off. I have any guys yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Four mans in the Four car, guys, fully okay. bodied. The back window drops down, looks down. Chick, chick. No way. Double barrel from where you are to where we are. Well, like, chick, chick. <laughs> guys looks right in my can see his eyes. Have you watched that film, Boys in the Hood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when the guy drops the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he pulls, and the guy runs, runs, runs. And drops it, just like that. I'm there now, and I'm like, I had a bottle of cold cola. I just dropped the bottle, bro. I thought, whoa. At this point, I'm like, is it beef? Was it, was it, uh, how did you feel at that moment? Was it like, Bro, my so life flashed before yeah. me. My life, mom, dad, everything flashed before me. At that point, my bottle of coke dropped. I broke into a pulse of sweat, bro. I broke into a pulse of sweat. You remember, I'm living a life of haram, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm living a life, I'm not pleading, I'm not even praying. I'm, I was like this, and I was like, from here to where you are, the guys come. You know what the guy goes? They had a Bradford accent. Mm -hmm. a Brad, I don't know who they were. Mm -hmm. They had a Bradford accent. They must have come for someone else. Yeah. Maybe my brother, I don't know. And they've gone, wrong guy. And they drove off, bro. Now, for about seven minutes, eight minutes, I just stood on that spot, bro, where the guys were there. They drove off. I didn't even move, bro. Scared isn't the word. Beyond, you know, you don't know yeah. what to do. <laughs> so this has happened now, bro. I can't sleep, bro. I didn't even tell my brother about this. How old are you? 17, 16, 17? 16, 17, someone Kid, bro, kid. Double barrel gun. Kid, double, double. And the guy, they cocked it, fully masked the next five. They looked, and they're, they're like, Shh. Wrong guy. I thought, wow. whoa. Gone now. Look what happens then. Got home, shook it off. Next day, 
you fall back into your patterns, don't you? Mm. But I'm still did, scared. You, did you tell anyone about no, it? No, 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 no. Because no. my brothers were a bit hot-headed and okay. my friends around me were hot-headed. other people so around me. didn't want to escalate the situation. I didn't want to go raving because then we would have started, started suspecting other people like yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. Then my mates would have gone to them and then, then it would have got, then yeah, firepower would have got involved. The then day, when the yeah, straps yeah. got involved, then it would have gets more deeper. I did it was one-on-one. But straps, if they had to come out, they'd come out. It was yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was only for like mum, sisters, dad, something like that. It was different. End of the day, there was no point in it. Was they were going for the wrong guy anyway. Also, they're going for the wrong guy anyway, but at that point, when you're living that life, you don't care, you become delusional. Yeah, you yeah. become delusional where you think, you know what, I'm everything. You become very. Yeah, you, you get ego running. Like, you become very arrogant. You become very, like, you know, yeah. how can someone violate me like this? Yeah, exactly. But really yeah, you don't realize you're violating yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, ultimately, because yeah, you're, yeah. you're not obeying Allah, you're violating yourself. Exactly. You're only yeah. bringing something bad for yourself. So, what happened then was this is, this is um, subhanAllah, it's a man. So, we're there now. This has happened. I've gone home. It's still in the back of my head. Come back on the next day, done my normal errands, done my normal errands. Now, look what happens now, subhanAllah. I must have got picked up on a, on a driving charge a couple of months before. I got a driving charge. Mm. I was very naughty on this day, but I was living at mum and dad's. Mm. So I picked up on driving. Them days, what used to be famous was Ringer cars. Remember Ringers? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the you could buy yeah, a brand yeah. new car for 50 quid. Yeah. You could have a brand new Audi S3, well, it was Audi A3 then, for 50 yeah, quid. Yeah. And I had a driving charge. And luckily they gave me tag for that. I was on tag. 7-7. Seven, seven. So I was on tag for this now. I thought, perfect, this, this is 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. I thought the time for me, because I was still on doing my thing. I thought, let's switch the timing back. So mm. I'd, I'd leave the house at six in the morning. So I had to pick up a, a ringer car from Warden Park Road. A good friend of mine, I don't want to say his name. Mm. Anyway, and uh, he'd probably get him, get him picked up. Come here, snitch. I don't know about you. Come, what's going on? It's like that. It's like, I'm just giving, I'm just giving this insight yeah, yeah, yeah. to the locality. Because yeah, we're all from yeah. the same locality. These yeah, yeah, yeah. Our areas are very connected. Alan Rock, Ward End, all these are very all one unit. Alhamdulillah, everyone has that one love. And everyone was very, very close. So I went to fix the car for my friend. And you've got to remember, this is... 7-7, seven, seven, so, so what I did, I left at 7, then there's Fajr was at quarter past 7 or 10 past 7 or, mm. you know, Fajr, like this time now, when Fajr is late, yeah, yeah. when the sun rises at quarter to yeah, 8, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I've gone early, picked the car up, he's posted the keys in the box, I've gone pick the car up, I've got my stuff with me in the car, now there's one officer, he's died now, PC Swindells, he got stabbed in Aston, he died in Aston Canals years ago, he was getting chased and they killed him, and he was one of them officers, you know, he never liked me, he mm. was just fully against me, he was like, you know what, he was like, now nah. he was like, you know what, this is, I'm going to get you. Mm. Now I've come off what, 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 Look at this I'm driving hot now I've come off Warden Park Road mm-hmm. I'm driving Warden Park Road And I'm looking I'm like this I'm driving I'm, I look right Because I look left Who's driving down? PC Swindells No He knows I'm on tag He knows I got a licence He knows Come I'm going to get you He's seen me But he hasn't seen me mm. <laughs> Gone Dipped. i got stuff on me I'd rather get, I'd rather get jail for dead Dangerous driving Than yeah, get jail, yeah. other stuff I've gone <laughs> shooting past, bam, 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 gone to all junctions. Just gone, 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 gone seven in the morning. It's coming down early. It's coming to fudge time. Subhanallah. There's one man who I owe my life to to this day, and I'll always hold him in high privilege. Gomer Zaman, his name is. And I'll explain you to to you how special like, this guy is. Blessed individual, alhamdulillah. Now, do you know as you come past the Masjid Taiba on Rogers Road? Yeah, yeah. There's a Lloyd's Pharmacy. Yeah, there remember that brick wall was taken out. Yeah, yeah. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. They're I never, see you though. Yeah, they're never, they're never, <laughs> so I've lost control. Yeah. Now up the car, I've, I've tried. I thought should I turn to Chapman Road because I had a friend who lived in Chapman Road, mm. or dash the stuff there, or shall I turn on, or should I just carry on straight into Fox and Goose? Mm. But this guy's radio ring now. But I was gone because he was behind. But I knew that I could see my rear view, but I was still ahead, heaps ahead. As I'm deciding, I've lost control. I've twitched. Boom! Straight into the Lowe's pharmacy. Oh, no. I've smashed my face everywhere onto the car. Thought, whoa! First thing on my mind, I'm there. I'm picking everything up. This this brother has them cameras of mine. May Allah bless his soul. This is my journey of the Dean. This is my journey. How I started praying. And um, I've come now and I wanted out of this life. I wanted out of this haram. So I'm coming, 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 coming. Go on, he's gone. Listen, son. He looked in the car. He was about 32, 33 them days. How old I am now? Now he's in his 40s. Beautiful brother. And uh, he looks in the car. He's gone, You're right, son. I'm going, You're right. And the part of the bleak, Jamal the bleak, mm. with the call people to the house. So you see me around anyway. Yeah. So he used to call me to come to the mosque. And uh, he's gone, um, He's gone, I look, um, He's gone, you got two options, kid. Hmm. Now, whatever you got in the car, you can leave that there and you can come in the mosque and you're never in the car. Hmm. Or you can you can't bring that in the mosque and run. How far are you gonna go? Your car's out of use, how far are you gonna go? Hmm. So he gave you like an away out. And, away. and I said, you know what? I looked at the stuff, I thought gone. Was there an easy decision to do that? At that point. At that point, at that point, at that point it's like this stuff can be replaced, cars can be, I don't want to go to jail. I don't okay, want to get picked okay. up. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm already hot. I'm, I'm just I'm on tag. I'm already getting picked up. I'm gonna I'm gonna get done here. Mm. I thought I'm like, I'm, I ain't got a way out. You know what I, mean? I thought what I'm gonna do? So I've bounced off, gone to the mosque. Allah, I never forget this day, man. You know I'll never forget this day in my life, man. I didn't know what they were doing. 
Mind you, I didn't know how to play this time. I didn't know really what I was doing. All I knew, like, I just followed the imam and that was it. I knew, yeah. like, Fatih, I knew basics. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. Really, I knew the basics because one of my friends, my, my, one of my stars in school, taught me how to basically mm. what to read. All I taught namaz was, was two rakat. That's what I taught namaz. I never knew that there was vitr, farz, yeah. sunnah, uh, you know, uh, you know how to pray, what to pray, vitr. I didn't know what to pray. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know dua kanut, nothing. I didn't know nothing. All I knew was just follow the imam that was your namaz. Yeah. I've got him, bro, yeah. All the guys, sirens going outside, bro. Now, how far is Lloyd's from, Lloyd's from, from, from Rajas Road? Two. About two minutes. Two minutes. What that? Yeah, 20 yeah. yards? 10 yards? Yeah. Now the Imam started namaz. I've gone in, done vudu, cleaned up, gone in. I didn't know how to vudu. Guys, show me how to vudu. Like, in the basics, I just knew to wash your face and the chill didn't go. We yeah. didn't know. We were jail. Yeah. The only thing we knew was a stanja. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we never let go of that guy. You know what I mean? That's what yeah, we knew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gone in, bro. Gone into the mass now. They started with Surah Ar Rahman. One of my favorite surahs today. Surah Ar Rahman started off with. Now, I didn't know what I was doing, but all I knew is when I went out into Sajda, bro, I just stayed there, bro. Allahu Akbar, man. I just stayed there, bro. These are, I've got back up for second regard. I'm just sitting there crying, bro. I just sat there crying, my bro. All I knew is this is what my heart was made for. This is what I was designed for. This is what I should have been doing. I had all the problems society outside that door, knowing that I could be going to jail, I could be doing everything, I've lost money, everything. Wallah, lazim, I swear by Allah, that didn't mean nothing to me at that, at that point. When I was in that sajjah, in that sajjah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when I put my head down to my Lord and when I submitted to Allah, when I submit to my creator, Hmm. It was all over, man. And from that moment, I promise I'll never go back to Haram, man. That's never sell Haram. Allah, then I went to, uh, then I went through hardship, bro. Hmm. Then I went through hardship. I went through friends, people who you think okay. are your boys. Yeah, yeah. Nobody. Because obviously, everything. you know, you've been living a life of, you know, everything. On road, bro. Um, they drop off like dominoes. They yeah. will drop off like dominoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. From that, I went to a point where I was going so, so bad. I was on buses, bro. I was back on buses. Hmm. You have to remember, I went off the scene for months. I started praying. And I thought I'd pray. Did you, not, did you not get tempted at any point if your boys were calling I you? I made a promise, bro. I made a promise. I had friends all over the all over the place. I had to then I had to go look at Allah. So I've given everything up for the sake of Allah now. I've given everything up now for the sake of Deen. I've gone back to being broke. I'm talking broke mm. from from fly jackets, fly watches, fly stuff. Everything is gone, bro. Cars, watches. I've become a become a hermit. I don't come out. But square one, basically. When I say square one, but there was contentment. But contentment, there was also yeah. hardship as well, bro. Mm. Now this is how I knew about copying. But I didn't know about the courses and what was what. So look mm. at Allah was works in ways. From number Bromford Lane, number eleven bus. I had to see my friend at Aston. Yes. Number yes. eleven bus stop. You know, by yeah, Bromford yeah, yeah, Park. Yeah. I had to jump on a bus. I put fifty p them in his bus fare. Mm -hmm. In the bus fare, I was at a point. I was Imagine at a, fifty p bus fare. Bro, I was, at a, I was bro. at a point. Bro, I was <laughs> at a point. <laughs> bro, I was at a point. Yeah, where I was willing to go to jail because I'd be better off there. In my mind, I was so in the, in the zone. I was mm. like, I'd better off being in jail. At least I will get three cuts on a hut, and I'll be able to go to sleep and I'll focus on the miles. I'd rather do bird. I was willing to go to jail. I was at that point where I, I, I just do. I was just. I was so naughty. I was always getting arrested. I was. Get, I was always messing around. I was always, always in a mad one. You know what I mean? Always hot headed. At that point, but I was like, you know what? To keep me off the streets, to keep everything. I'd, I'd rather go there. Look at this now. Like, Subhanallah. I was there now. I've caught the bus. Asked the name. See my friend. Let's go. So let's you go. got. So you got to remember. At this point, I'm broke, bro. I'm finished. I'm on my ass. I've got nothing. From three and a half, four bags a day to not even thirty, forty p a day, bro. Yeah, that, that's 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 mm. crazy, bro. Now, I where think, do you think that's why call? a lot of people get stuck in the system because they're used to that money, bro? But there's not barakah in that money, there's no yeah, blessing yeah, in that yeah. money. So, did you get rid of that money? Like that money fully, I gave everything in Sadaqah, alhamdulillah. My yeah, love, I'm not here to say what I done good, I gave everything. I don't expect reward from it because it's haram. Mm. Everything I had haram, I got rid of. The only thing I got remaining is gold tooth. Yeah. That's the only thing I got remaining from Jahaliya is gold tooth. And I spoke to Ulama and said, because it's my past, but inshallah, in the will of Allah, when I'm at a point where I can, which I will do, I've actually booked him with Dr. Mid Patel. Yeah. Big up Dr. Mid Patel, Manchester. <laughs> the, finest, the finest celebrity dentist yeah. is going to get me a set of brand new veneers, yeah. inshallah. So even, <laughs> you, even then, when you look at yourself now in the mirror, you probably think, these me. Memories and it's scars. Kind of you know, you come a long way, though. Yeah. 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 Alhamdulillah, yeah. alhamdulillah. You come a long way. Yeah. But back to what I was saying, guys, back to what I was saying, it's very yeah. important, this, this part, very important, this part is. Let's get into it, bro. Let's get into it. So I was there now. Sorry, guys, it's gone off spring, but I've got to keep it. No, 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 you know what? want a podcast, let's talk about the truth. Man, there's no, there's real, no man. filter. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. My close circle knows. Time for the whole world to know if they want to know because they all know. Yeah, yeah. Because there's always a mystery around who is Cam, what is Cam. It is what it is. You know, I ain't Mister Perfect. I am whatever. Bad mistakes, but Alhamdulillah, I'm in a better place now, and maybe someone can learn from this a better day life. That's it, man. Some kids can change their life. That's the goal. So guys, Aston, I'm on the bus. I'm going to Aston. I'm in Aston now. Now remember, at this point, I'm broke, bro. I'm broke. So I've gone to Aston. Now they've made Tesco's there in Aston. It used to be an old commercial building years ago. Yeah. That's only been built two years. I've got to Aston now, bro. On the way back, I've seen my mate on David Road. I've jumped back on the bus. You know when you just look and something catches your eye? Mm. Look at this, bro. When you just look and something catches your eye, like, you know. I've looked and something caught my eye. It was an envelope. I don't know what happened. What, on the bus
I'm let go, and there's about two and a half, three grand in there. Hmm. Well, you found three grand. I found it, but me, me, but listen to this. I've picked it up, and I was sat on the bus. I'm like, Cam, you've given up all the haram. Now you pick someone's money up. This is haram for you, man. What are you doing? Hmm. You know what? You've gone back to square one. Hmm. And instead of getting off, I've put the bus fine now. So instead of getting off from my house, I've carried a stitch for the police station. And the cop is doing me very well. Well, 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 what we got here? I said, look. And I was just like, you know, it was like a weight on me. I went, I got a different like, He called the officers. I found this money. It's not mine. It doesn't belong to me. Get it out of my hands. And well, like, they were like, what do you, what do you mean? I said, report it lost, stolen or whatever. I found it. I shouldn't have picked it up. Here it is. That's what the sunnah says. When you find something, don't pick it up on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the wisdom of the Islam. Yeah, when you yeah, find yeah, something, yeah. leave it. Don't touch it. Okay. But at that point, I was just coming in. But I was weak. You were learning. Anything? I was learning. learning. So I picked it up. Me, and I thought, what am I doing? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, my God hit me. And I thought, what am I doing? Why am I doing this for? So I put that money back onto the police and put it back. Mashallah. I've gone. I've gone. Phew. Gone. Got out. Went home. Still broke. Month and a half. At this point, I'm still at a point where I'm like, I'd rather go to jail. I'm at this point where I say, you know what? I'd rather go to jail. I'm at this point where I'd be like, you know what? I'd rather just go inside. There's no point in me even. There's no point in me even being out. Mm. I'm living such a life where I'd rather. I'm better off going away. Just going. I was happy just to be away from everything. So I've gone now. A month later. Uh, hi there, mate. Uh, Mr. Arif, uh, would you like to come to Sheffield? I thought, back jackpot. Here's my ticket. For my sister, I go, look, they called me in. I'm probably going to get banged up. Let, just let, let me remember Wait, enough. So you, so you thought you were going to get banged up? I thought I'd be in jail off for some old crime. I didn't oh, care. I didn't okay. care. Oh, at so that point, I was so desperate. I'd rather go to jail. Yeah. I'd rather go to jail. Man. At that point, I was, I'd rather go to jail. I'd be like, you know what? It is what it is. Would, would you say this is a dark time in your dark life? Dark yeah. time. Dark, but seeing the light. Okay. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Very dark, sense. but I know yeah, where the light yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The okay, dean. So you've got a sense of direction. I've got the, I've, yeah, yeah. I know that this. I'm. Go, I know after in the mal usli usla, in the mal usli usla. After the hardship comes easy. You know what I mean? Mm. So I knew that afterwards. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So you had that belief. That so you yeah, came to dean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I chose to give this up. I chose to lock it off. You're basically trying at the same time, but at the same the struggles. Time, it's what, what, what does Allah say? Yeah, that you'll be tested. Your jan, your man, your mal, your health, your wealth, your children. Allah says, I will test you. You think it's gonna be easy? Allah says, I'll test you. And his ayat will come back to me. I read a lot of Quran. The ayat will come back to me. They're like, you know, you're gonna be tested. And I was being tested, bro. Now look at this, bro. Now this what really makes me Subhanallah, man. Look how Allah makes haram to halal, halal to haram, halal to haram, haram to halal. Only Allah can do this, bro. Got the call from the position, right, Cam? Uh, call me. We got speech about something. I told jackpot. Told my parents, look, I gotta go. Bye. See you later. I've just come off tag now about two weeks before. Said so perfect. Let's go. Go on now. So were you uh, like excited at this point? Bro, you know, I'm gonna get banged up. I thought I'm gonna go to jail, <laughs> read my namaz, focus on my deen, come out a better Muslim. Yeah, okay. And at least I'm eating, at least I'm healthy, yeah, yeah, some yeah. training. I should be doing training, I should be heading yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I'd be nice. Okay, let's let's okay. do a little spell, a couple of months, I'll be nice. Mm-hmm. I'll find a way in there, get my do a little so course. It's like a rehab kind of. That's how bad it was, but which way I want to go to jail, bro? Yeah, yeah. But this is the point I was living at. This is how desperate I was. Imagine. But also the light was there. So I've gone now. I thought, perfect, let's do this. Gone there. They've gone, Cam, thank you very much. We want to congratulate you for getting the money in. Because no one's claimed it. There you go. Allah Akbar. From being broke to being two and a half grand. Old. Look at that, man. Mm. How Allah works in mysterious ways. Oh, so the money that you the gave money in that I gave in, no one, had, no, one, no one claimed it. And there's certain clothes that no one claimed it after a certain so time. So you, 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 you were getting prepared to get it locked up, yeah? And they were and prepared then, to say, here you go, mate. <laughs> and they gave you two, three grand back. They gave you two, two, two pounds back. They said, no one claimed it. Thanks for being a good citizen. Thank you very very much. We are, are, are applauded just yet. Just, just, yeah, and there you go. But had I taken that money, haram, yeah. would it have blessed me, knowing it? Mm. I'd have taken that money, I'd have taken it haram and not gave it to the police. Oh, yeah, it would have yeah. been, not been right for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done the right thing, gave it back, and then it became a legit for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kept yeah. it, done my thing. Them days, people were buying Yaris's. Mm. Remember Yaris cars? Yeah, 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 yeah. I bought four Yaris's, £700 each or £400 each, and I started flipping them. I started to want more out of this. I started to put a bit of a lacquer on the tyres, put a belt on this. I was like, I'm good with my mouth, so I was like, like yeah, flipping yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, what, what's going on here? Then I knew about hijama, I knew about mm. copying, I found a course. Then I've done this one course, this one day course, two day course, it was cowboy, it was nothing. Just to let the bait. I said, I want to get deeper into it. There's one course going for £2,500. Dr. Ronald Suleiman, I got clinic. Then I went and joined him with him. Okay, so, so that money how, how, me. how old were you at this point now? About 18, 19. Okay, so 18, 19. So the money that you've got uh, given as a reward for I handing put, it in initially. I cars, and which kept me return. turning over yeah, yeah, in terms yeah, of life yeah, yeah. and okay. kept me doing something. Then I had enough money where I was making profit, I was yeah, breaking. Yeah. And then I had enough money to invest into a proper course, and then Alhamdulillah, man. So what? So um, what about hijama got you interested in it? The Deen, the Sunnah. I made dua. I made a dua. I made a dua as well. And yeah, remember when I started, the, when, I, when, I, when me and another brother from Aston came in from yeah. Allah bless his a good friend of mine, his family as well, uh, brother Mabushir, good brother. When we came in into the scene of hijama, there was a brother before us doing it in Birmingham only, uh, Abu Bilal, a uh, very good friend of mine. Oh, so there was Ali. many people. Doing there was only hijama. one guy in Birmingham doing it before us, before us guys. It was a brother called Bilal from Avondale Road, Sparkill. Yeah. Really, my older brother. 
He's actually more. Yeah. And Bilal, if you listen to this, you know, I love you. He's my older brother. He's yeah. like a, he's like, he's like, he's, like, he's, like, he's in his forties, but he's an old school brother. Mm. And he, he was doing it in, when, we, when we were in a nappies. We didn't know what it was. Okay. But them days, it wasn't as. Look, Alhamdulillah, I took it to a different level. Alhamdulillah, yeah, yeah. I know this. And I want to get more into that. As well, I took yeah. it to a different, different level. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you why. So I was, I was doing the hijama here and there, but it was ticking me over. I'm content though. I'm in the dean. I didn't want to be this whatever. I didn't care. Even now, I don't care about what I am. Still me. Uh, I thought, right, I'll get into it. Then what happened? Then look how Allah works in mysterious ways, man. Subhanallah. So now I've got enough money to do Hajj as well. I always wanted to do Hajj. So I went to Hajj. Have you done Hajj? I've done Hajj in the, uh, when I was about 19, I think it was 19. Yeah. 19, I, 19, I was about 19. 19. I was about 19. Uh, but I had the money, it was following upon me, innit? Mm. Hadith, when you have the money, it's following upon you. Yeah. And I had enough money to do so. So I took life by the horn, so I did Hajj and Alhamdulillah. I'm going to accept it alone. I went alone. Rich. Picked up and went alone. Them days it wasn't expensive. I went alone. It was fully. So I picked up and I made dua. I went to Hajj and I said, Ya Allah. I said, Give me work in Islam. Give me work in the deen. Give me work in the sunnah. And whatever work I do, let me take it all across the world. I'm not doing that today. Mm. I'm not doing it across exactly the world. That, yeah. Didn't my dua not come true? Yeah, 100%. That's how Allah was some serious ways, brother. So I made this dua, came back, Mashallah. then I just took it to a different level and I started Mashallah. really stamping my authority and really taking it to levels where it was like, you know what, let's let's start let's start opening it, let's start opening it. But it's all about how much you put in and I work with a passion with whatever I do. Whether it was jahli, I work with a passion, whatever I do in hal- halal so or whatever. You're, you're generally a hard worker. Whatever you, you choose to do, whatever you put your mind to. I've got hard work, I think. Those who know me personally, my brother Tabby mm. right there, he's my very one of my, my best mate, mm. he knows me very well, he knows I sleep less. I don't mm. sleep much, I sleep three, four hours a day if that. I my think this is, this is what I want to get across, like the amount of hard work it is to one, um, you know, you must say you've got your own business now, yeah? Well, so you've got a clinic, yeah. you've got a clinic in Lime Tree. Um, yeah, and we've got a few offsprings every year, pretty much yeah, all over the world, really, to be fair. Basically all over the world, alhamdulillah. Yeah, so, you know, so if you take it back, so you, you've done this course now, mm-hmm. so then what happened after you've done this course? Then I started, step, then I started from my, from my garden shed. Okay, okay. Mom and dad so has started, garden um, shed. So I work from a garden shed. From but legit now, work. You have to remember, someone was from someone was coming from two and a half, three bags a day. Yeah, smashing a life out of something haram. Then coming to 30, 40, 50, 60 pound a day. But the difference was that was haram, and this was halal. And I was content haram, with this. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. barakah by Allah, the barakah of that that daily bread was way more. And you know what the proud moment for me was? Hmm. I would take that money home to mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could go to mom. I could say, mom, Mashallah. here you go, man. Very Kiss good. on the cheek on the forehead. And say, mom, there you go, man. Hmm. Was that a big yeah. motivating factor for you then? Big like, thing, man. Yeah. The, and how being able to help out with the household, being able to put in, being able to do things. Alhamdulillah yeah. for me, it just switched over, man. It you changed remember the game your uh, first client? My first client, my first client, believe it or not, Mela, bless his soul, the first guy I ever did copying on was, in terms of big clients or in terms of normal. Normal. My normal guy was, everyone knows, he's a famous guy, Sufi from Sufi shop, the corner shop, Sufi. Oh, really? Sufi, and he fainted. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sufi, I love you, bro. <laughs> Sufi, so. Sufi, Sufi, I'm sorry, bro, man. But he's, he's, he's the corner shop, by my mum, by my mum's. So, so I said, Sufi, look, I got this thing, I do this copying thing. He's going, what is it? He's going, I said, go on, let me show it on you. So he's going to close the shop at 8 o'clock. So he's going to close the shop at 8 o'clock. I'll put the cup on him, he's bloody passed out, isn't he? I thought, oh, what's all, bro? I thought, he's, he's, like, like, oh, he's just passed out, he's in the blood, and he's not that cold. I thought, what the hell? Oh, he's in the blood. That's what he's in the blood. He's gonna almost come out. I pulled it out. Literally, he's gonna. Oh, he's doing a three sixty, lad. He's doing a three sixty, and boom, he's hit the floor. I thought, sugar. What am I doing now? All I knew is put the legs up. So I twitched him over, put his legs in the air, and he was was all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, he never. That was about years ago. I I always remember him. He goes, yeah, I need some, need it again. He's never come back to me since. (laughs) (laughs) He probably never went to anyone. That was him. He was a Sufi man. My my local, he's still there now. Sufi's corner shop. Good brother. Alhamdulillah, I must get time, but his podcast, when you watch it, you'll be laughing. The guy's traumatized now. He's no, like, okay. man, he was like, you know, but I've had guys, I can't mention certain celebrities or certain people, yeah. like TV athletes, but I've done their husbands and their wives are watching and she's looking and she's passed out. And I'm like, oh, who who no. was the first celebrity that you've done? The first, the story of the celebrity, how it works. Um, wait, wait, so, yeah, so, so who was the first one and how did it come about? How did it come and, about? Yeah, so, so who was the first one? Who, who was the first celebrity? Uh, the name I can't explore because he comes oh. under the thing of, he's uh, in, 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 in the knighthood. When, when, a, when a celebrity is in the knighthood, you can't mention names. Okay, so oh, your first... someone has a sir name, a, sir, a name sir in front of them. Okay, so you've got, you've got, we've got a little clue, innit, sir? Sir. Okay. Sir, uh, sir. linkage to football, you know it. Okay, so... Yeah, um, yeah. We've got to work with the most, my yeah, teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working yeah, yeah, out, yeah, yeah. Yeah. working out, sir. Yeah. So, so, this is your first... I'll tell you what happened. This, now, this is another okay. story, guys. But I hope you got bare time on the podcast because, lad, this can be. I told you, this can be a bang off. This, this is going to be. Is, it is what it is. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no yeah. thing. So now you got to remember when I've come in now. What do I say about people? You have a skateboard and I'm happy for you. Mm. Now when I first signed, like my, when I first got hints that I'll be working with Joshua, so called people around me, you know what they said? Cam's gone mad. Bagolo, yeah. He's telling people he's working with AJ. What's wrong with him? Is he feeling okay? So it was hard for for someone to believe that Cam. This, I did from, not, You know. You know why I made social Instagram for? Mm. I made Instagram
I was a Premiership footballers but no one whose cars were most more than my house. So this yeah. is this is before the Instagram days. This is be way before Graham. Oh, I didn't know about Graham. I didn't how, know. So how did they find you though? I ain't gonna clue myself. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I swear to God, I don't, don't know. People so ask me. You know, so you know, the I don't know. first celeb that came to you. How did he come across? So you? basically, you must ask him. So I started working on it. Basically, so let me let me put it back down. So mm. I started working. So when I first started doing this, now I've gone a bit forward. I'm gonna go back to the basics. Once a guy came to my front room. Mm. He's a Leeds United footballer. I can mention him, Solomon Dakara. Okay. Very good friend of mine. So how, how did he come find? I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. I've not, I, I don't wow. know. Because there's not many. So what's to, what, what, what type of advertising, marketing? Green? Mine has always been. Mine was always word of mouth for the first couple of years. Okay. So word of mouth. The word of mouth. Word of mouth. I was a well known guy out there anyway. Everyone knew. Okay. So everyone probably wanted to see me for the sake of seeing me and yeah, see yeah, how he's yeah, doing yeah, what yeah, he's yeah. doing. And okay. so, so I've done Solomon Dakara. He had it on his head. He had migraines. He won an award for Player of the Month. Something. He went to an event. This guy remember took his top off. He had a Leeds United top on. I was like, who the, e, who's post leads? You know I mean, I was, I was like, e, who's post leads? You know what I mean? I was like, I was like, Bismillah. Sorry, I was like, sorry, water break. Bismillah, right, Bismillah, right, Bismillah. Right. So this guy came with the leads top on, and I'm like, e, leads, who's post leads? You know what I mean? Who the hell's post leads? He's going to play for leads. I was like, oh, all right then. All right, wicked. Play Fair for leads, you know what I mean? Yeah. Brilliant. He's won an award. He's come back, and this person has seen him with his marks, and this guy's originally from Scotland, them sides up north, and he goes, mm. my grandma, she's just done. My grandma, can you give me this kid's number? Now, now I've got a drop. I've, I've got a phone call saying, "Oh, hi, it's so and so, so and so. Can I book in?" And I's like, ah, "Yeah, someone's have someone's have me on." You know what I mean? Put the mm. phone down. Say, "Yeah, all right, no problem. I'll get back to the appointment." I put the phone down. Sat down, read the rushi like I was do, okay. and somebody hit my gut, bro. That you know what, can wife it is him. You can't bring him to a house now in my crowd, can you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All due respect. Yeah, yeah. The guys are not. You can't. The guys, sir. And I was like. What do I do? There's a clink in Jewel Court which I now own. Alhamdulillah, Mashallah. this clink was owned by a guy who I said it, and I told him about it. He goes, oh, "Mate, I'm not gonna charge you rent. Just take the keys and all the best." Yeah, right. Basically, come here, mate. Here's the keys. Make sure you put the ilam on. He thought I'm, I'm chatting bubbles. One of them, yeah. Three o'clock appointment. Do myself. Waited for Black Jaguars park up. Alhamdulillah, it was him. Mashallah. Open the door for me. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Wow. Alhamdulillah. It was him. Best of friends this day. Alhamdulillah. So how do we? 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 You? Um. Like kind of starstruck when you see him. Never, I never get starstruck. I've sat with the biggest athletes in the world. My brother's been there with me right now, and I'm with them. I don't get starstruck. I'm the last. So they, they, get, they get struck off me. Is that you, Cam? They look, they, 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 wow. Whoa! I think I'm trying to say what I'm saying. Speak so fast. Like, yeah, 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 all right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm one of them guys. You throw me in the jungle, I'll, I'll rip a line in half. I'll come out of the Gucci mink. I'll make it work. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got that mindset. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, go down yeah. easy, man. I got that mindset. But has there any the been, minted has mindset. That, has, has there been any celebrity that is like? Oh, there's been one who's got me a bit woof, yeah. and I've said to him, I've, I've said, listen. I'm a fan, so let's put that let's put that to the side and let's box up business and carry on. Oh, right, it is. These guys like me because I'm real with them. I'm down the way I am with you right now. That's how I'm with them. Mm. You'll see how I am on certain posts. That I what, 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 posts. what was it like working with uh, Anthony Joshua? He's a obviously good that's AJ, one. AJ is one brother, Marshall. Let me tell you one thing. People he say fully this. promoted you. Isn't he? He's a good brother. brother. You know, yeah. I say a good brother. A... AJ is a AJ has a heart of gold. Guys like Anthony Joshua don't come round every day. Champs like him don't come round every. Don't come round every every. Maybe every hundred years, mm. every look Muhammad Ali. For me, after that, he's a great guy. Anthony okay. Joshua, you know, not only is a dear friend, he's a great brother. And I got mm. so much love and time for that now guy. Now you can tell, like he comes across he's like a real a nice guy. guy. Yeah. People yeah. say, yeah. oh, he's just yeah. he's, he's fake. He's not fake. Yeah. He's a real guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. how he is. How he's on the camera. How he's he'll do what he can do for you. That's how it is. Sometimes AJ. I feel yeah. as if he needs to be a bit more like, um, you know, before a fight, I feel like just come on, spice things up a little bit, bro. Yeah, he's yeah, saying yeah, like yeah, everything yeah. the right. He's saying the right things. Like stop saying dude, the right. Yeah, stop saying the right things, bro. Like give me something. Yeah, he's a good brother. But there's certain guys who are. Did he? So did he? So you know all the clients that you have. Have had so you you know Marshall you work with the big football players, um, athletes like Anthony Joshua. Like rappers, uh, you've also got like KSI, you know, big YouTubers. So mm-hmm. did these guys reach out to you or is it? They you? reached out to me. Have they you ever? Okay, so I, they've always reached out to I've you. I've never reached out. They've always reached out to me. No one can ever show me evidence of me reaching out to football. Saying, oh, can I work with you? Never. I don't beg it. He mm. provides, man. As long as you do something sincerely. Do you think? Do you think social media has helped that, like, to kind of build your social media? Brand, has helped, social so media has helped the awareness of it in terms yeah, of yeah. Yo, this guy works with so and so. But it was never about that for me. It still yeah, isn't about yeah. that for me. I'm still mm. with the same team, same brothers, same. No, no. Obviously, we can talk because you know um, it's still the same. Yeah. But it's never changed. If I wanted to, bro. If I wanted to, all due respect, mm. I don't have to work with wrong people. Yeah, mm. yeah. I could stick to my contracts. I'm nice. 
Yeah, true. I mean, if I wanted to, I could just sit with them. I could act like a ball if I wanted to, but that's not me. Mm. So, so you've got contracts with these guys, then? It's yeah, like every, every. It's all certain things. It's a certain clause because see, I got offered by a certain football team, which I can't mention. Well, I, I, well, I'm just going to mention the country, France. Okay. And it's, it's going to be a bit political, but it is what it is. Mm. And I don't fear the blame of the blamers, and the truth is the truth. The truth At this point, yeah. France is going in very heavy against the cup. Now, yeah, my wife, yeah. my wife wears niqab. Yeah, yeah. My wife's a practicing Muslim. Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless her. She's a good woman, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I got a beard, I perfect, I pray. My dean's my dean. This football club goes from Cam, here's a blank check. Come, move to Marseille, work with us. But you have to lock off every other football club. You can only mm-hmm. work with that team. Blank check, take what so you want. So they wanted you to be exclusive for but their team. I've got nothing against France. I love the country. The people are rubbish. You know, the people are, the people are, the people are, the people yeah, are just, yeah. they've got a different mindset. Very yeah, racist, yeah, yeah. very racist. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And I've gone there and I said to them, they're going, don't worry about the fine. Look what, don't worry about the fines about your wife. We'll carry on paying them as well. You want me to no my wife way. to take my niqab off? You want me to become a dayut? You want me to sell out my deen? You want me to sell out my, put my missus on, on display? Because yeah. you don't like, don't like niqab. I go, I go to him, here's a middle finger. Oh, that ain't happening. Alhamdulillah, you want to go to me? We're pulling out major players from you. Every single one of them players is now directly under my contracts, one to one. Alhamdulillah. Well, and I'm still with every single club in the UK. That just goes to well, showing it, like, never well, give up on your principles, never, morals. Never. Yeah, never your you, once, you, once you weigh in your morals and principles, you are finished. Yeah. finished once you weigh in, well, yeah. once you change for the people, you yeah. are finished. Now yeah. that club now is reaching out to me again saying, oh, you know, I said, look, it's not a problem, Will, but don't ever tell me to, I'll come to Marseille, I'll move there if I want me to, but don't ever tell, expect me to change my dean for you guys. Hmm. And that was when it was at the peak. That, Ed, that Edwin Bowen, whatever he's doing, them cartoons about the Prophet Sallam, this stuff, yeah, he was yeah, at the yeah, peak. Yeah, yeah. And I felt it in places like Leon, April, I've been to parts of the world, but you'd never see a man with a beard, bro. And his most be- I've been to Switzerland, this paper, you'd never see, never see a brown person like that, or a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I've been to parts of the world, but you'd never think, but Alhamdulillah. So, you know, when you were working with these, you know, these big celebrities and whatnot, do you feel as if like a lot of people were just reaching out to you now, just to kind Clarity of clout? Man, I'm, I'm going to be straight. There's so many people. I ain't got many real ones. Like people me. that you haven't spoke to before. Because I remember when I opened my first business, um, mm-hmm. you know, a good six years ago. Bro, people that I haven't spoken to in years like popping out. Yes, bro. Yes, you know? you okay? And uh, asking me questions, asking my staff questions. Oh, so how much did uh, Abs put in this? You know, how much money is he making? You know, I'm thinking, bro, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. why don't I just be why happy for me? Be bro? happy, make like, you offer him. Like, like, I've, I've like, never been one to kind of be nosy for a start. Yeah, yeah? exactly. Secondly, you know, just be you know to a point where jealousy or type of, like if someone does well like, you know yeah, alhamdulillah true. mashallah you know the brother's doing well he's well, come from trying, like you're trying to give a lending hand you support yeah, the brothers yeah, yeah, you have you experienced that then like bro, people just coming out and bro just, my, my dear friend's right there man I don't you know he, 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 we probably do a separate podcast on him yeah, another yeah, time yeah, and he can explain to you what I have to go through the battles I have to go through and alhamdulillah I'm okay look I'm not here to slander nobody I never would I'm quite a straightforward cat I speak to the people I don't like backbiting but people will do anything, man. People, and they'll throw you off a cliff, man. They will throw you off a cliff. They'll do anything for clout. Everyone's my best friend somehow. Huh? Okay. Mm. Everyone's, you, you, see, I've known, known you guys for years, school yeah, days, yeah, yeah, for yeah. years, bro. Mm. We are friends. That's what you yeah, call yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For years. Course, for years, yeah. bro. Before I was this whole, call, yeah, this, yeah, this whole yeah, guy, yeah. this whole, mm-hmm. you know, whoa, you know what I mean? Before, I'm not that kind of guy. People come to me like, you know, they'll say, can can get a picture? Of course, I don't mind. love. But I, I try to advise him not to because mm. I'm not that guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't mind. It's nice. It's a bit of Do you ever feel as if, like, um, uh, like it might get to you to a point where you might start... If it, you like, know, if it wasn't for Because, you know, squads, as much as we all like to, to say... Yeah, it like, was you know, getting to me, bro. Money's not going to change me. Fame's bro, not going to change me. it was getting to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It was getting to me. Let's get to that. It was getting to me. I got to a point where my brother would tell you, oh, I lost myself. Okay, I lost okay. myself. I never let... If those that kept me going was my deen, my salah, if I let, if I let go, my prayer would be finished. Mm. I got to a point where what was the thing? Think what? What's the famous quote? Only God can judge me. That's what we start using. That's what we start using. And That's a very I, famous I fell out with my already. friend, one of my best friends. My brother sitting right there. I distanced myself from him, and he never gave up on me, bro. That's a friend, bro. That's a true. He never gave up on me. He'd go, look, come. I know you're going through a madman, but when you come, speak to me. Then he'd put the phone down. He'd come a month later. Are you okay? Hmm. I was in a dark place, bro. People think this life's glam. It's not a glam life. Was this like you know during uh, like was it quite This was going only going back about two years ago. Two years ago, right. When no, I was really you know, the boom boom the peak when I was really So basically is that when you gain lo- loads of celebrity clients and all that? Even like, look the, the clients have probably thing. probably gone even more now alhamdulillah all person like my friend in my social circle now is still very, very big. Yeah, yeah. But it got to a point where I lost would I say I won't say haya. You but you lose yourself in a world mm. where you I never I was never an arrogant guy where I looked down at people, never that's never been But I didn't care about what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah, seen yeah. openly I see. I'd make witnesses for myself. My love, forgive me. You know, I make, I make now. I make dua publicly. My love, forgive me. I made a mistake. Mm. You should never make dua. You should never make your sins public. We all sin, but no, I started sinning yeah. publicly, bro. I started sinning publicly. Where people mm. be like, "Cat, what you doing, man? You got the sunnah, but I'm like, what are you praying at?" 
I lost, I lost myself. We're human, mm, and yeah. I, I'm here to accept that. I lost myself. And so I'm what, sorry what, for that. what made you think? You know what? Okay, what what rec- like, when did you start recognizing this? You know, when your soul start, you start going back to that feeling where you which you once left. Ah, uh, is that you feeling? You go back to that. Yeah, yeah. De- you go back to what, what you were. Then your friends are telling you, "Can what you're doing? You rebel against your friends. You re- mm. rebel against your close ones." One thing I've noticed, um, you know, on your socials, yeah, sometimes you take a break. You take a break from like I have a, I've and just come off a break yeah? now, and um, and that is and I want to fall back into that. Start talking about mental health, yeah. Do, at any point, did it affect your mental health? I know you start thinking about, you know, how you're feeling and everything, but um, did you, you know, these breaks that you take on Instagram is that for your mental health? Is that these for... breaks are, are see? I don't want to go back in that dark circle. Yeah. yeah. So I've I mentioned back at the beginning when I got to I refer to the ulama. Now my life is in structure. Alhamdulillah. First of all, because of my family. First of all, because of Allah. Then family. Then ulama. And good friends. But my ulama are like my friends anyway. Yeah. If I never had this network of people around me, I'd be I'd be sunk. Bro, I'd be sunk. Mm. Mel, that's why I always make dua on my post. Mel, I make me, and I say to everyone, Mel, I make me better than what you think of me. People say, oh, calm, calm. I say, Mel, I make me better because I know what a week, what a week is that. If we were for Tazkiyah for purification, I'd be finished. But if it wasn't for dear friends like my brother Aftab and other people, I'd be washed up, I'd be finished. End of the day, it's about your company, and your, your company, company makes you. Your company. Say, you know, if you're chilling with four bums, you're the fifth one. Hundred yeah. percent. So it wasn't. So every time I make a move, the ulama would say, "Cam, <coughs> get off now." So you had a good support network. Support I've got system, that network. Yeah. Yeah. I'm content now. Now, yeah. no matter how far I go. What advice oh would you God. give to someone? You know, especially the young lads that are probably out there, probably watching this, that are maybe in a similar situation that you've been, where they're struggling to kind of make sense of their life or they, they know, know what they're doing is wrong but they just need something to, to kind of push them in the right direction what advice would you give to that person return to your deen straight up return to your religion bro return to your deen what if they're non-muslim find your deen find whatever <laughs> find, find the deen bro find the deen find the deen I've got, got how many reverts have around me see how many reverts have around me mm. bare reverts people so, they know the haq their soul mm. knows the truth so if I got friends who are Christian who are non-Muslims, look, the audience will be watching this will be non-Muslims. I look at my most of my audience is non-Muslim on my Instagram as a platform. Mm. I'm sure open up my Deen, you know. Look, come, come with your Deen, you know. Leave them to their Deen, leave them to them, and leave them to them to us. They're upon theirs, they're where we're upon us. We leave them to it, you know what I mean? But what I say to them, I say, I say, just turn and say, oh God, guide me. You watch, it, you'll be guided. I read the Quran, man, and stick to your family. And when mm. your friends advise you, take that advice on board. Don't be bitter by it, because I once was bitter against my friend. Mm. Only God can judge me. Yes, ultimately mm. only God can judge you, but you can also judge if I'm what's apparent and bloody hell apparent is <laughs> and apparently the best, the best bloody thing I've ever known. So you can judge if I'm what's apparent and this is the best the best bloody thing I've ever known. So you can judge if I'm what's apparent, you know what I mean? I'm a man of um the best one was yeah, this is the funny one. I was on the phone once, I was arguing with somebody and my, my pal at was with me and I think I must have been having a go at him. I said, oh, whatever, what you do, someone from me goes, I'm like, he goes, have you, have you watched that film Joker? Arthur? You got your, you got your Arthur, you are. Oh, <laughs> I'm swearing to God, I'm going, you what, you, what are you on about? And I'm going, I'm going, oh, one minute. I'm going, hello, son, buddy, you okay? <laughs> and he's looked at me and he's laughing, he laughs at his day, he's laughing about it. He goes, you're Arthur, Joker, the oh, film. Oh, you know, that movie, oh, bits, man. Oh, but yeah, guys, as for the youngsters, you know what? You can live a good life. <coughs> you can live a brilliant life. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve. The Dean does not say sit in a cave all day. That's not the Dean. Live a good life. Wear nice clothes. Work hard, be good to your family, be a good husband, you know what I mean? Be a good wife to your, be a good wife to your, to your husband, be a good husband to your wife, you know. Be you know, working good, have your community relations, have a lot. Dean is about having laugh and joke and banter and love. It's not about being strict and sitting in the jubah. That's not the dean. Hmm. The dean makes you upright. It gives you gives you Allah's made you an ambassador in the world. Gives you gives you strength. You know what I mean? Strength. Good power. Yeah. Do you good. do you do you uh, enjoy your work? Like, do you do you feel as if it is work or is it something? I don't feel it's like work. I feel just you just see my friends and yeah. talk, catching up with the people. And what aspect of your work do you like the most? Is it the traveling? Is it the actual meeting the clients? Talking to like? the people, man. 
Yeah. Because when I talk mm. to you about something, see now I'm here talking about Adina, I'm reminding myself first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I get to talk to people, I'm, and you know what I like about my work, and you'll know this, everyone knows this. I'll give you an example now. Sorry, just, sorry, just to, uh, sorry to cut you there, bro. Mm-hmm. Is it just Muslims that you work with? No, or is it no, no. I've got well? more non-Muslim clients than Muslims. Okay, okay. And it's for everybody, it's for everybody. How, how, how did they find uh, about hijab? Like, was it through your page? Through, um, through, probably through the page. Because obviously, page, not even a lot of Muslims know about hijama. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? So yeah. non-Muslims, to even look at copying, I think, yo, what's this? What's my man, you get me? And uh, I'm pretty sure the first thing they'll do is probably Google search and. But when they Google it, what comes up? All yeah, my clients, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah what comes true. up? That's true. All my clients are like, well, if it's good for them, it's good for us. You know what I mean? Mm. 100%. So it works out. Let's talk about you know how how you've built your brand up to a point where you've got a large audience online, um, mm. you know, and you're using it for the for the good. You're spreading positive vibes. But you know, if they if someone's out there now trying to build up their social media presence and they're trying to elevate their business Keep through social real, media, man. what advice would you give to someone? Is there any techniques like posting regularly? You got to be you got to be active. You got to be active. You got to be active. So what's helped you get to you know, technically zero followers to a point where you've got like over 150,000 followers on it, Instagram. It right? happens, you know, it happens now. I've just come on the TikTok thing now, as well, you know. Oh, you just today. I've already hit about 200. Come on, p- plug in, fam. Yeah, What's the, the TikTok, TikTok, bro? It's cool. Just the camera, I think. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm doing it for a bit of a banter. But Do you have anyone well. looking after your socials? Or just, is it myself, just you? Just yeah? myself. So if, if anyone's reaching out to you, it's you they're talking to, it's yeah? It's me direct, man. Always, always. Yeah, no, I like that, man. Direct, like that, yeah, yeah. It's respect, isn't it? It's mm. there. Mm. I've got a receptionist. I've got no, no, nothing like yeah, yeah. that. You've got nobody direct. Yeah, yeah. They've got me direct. I've been sending them for 10 years. Mm. Send, send them, no change, never change, Alhamdulillah. But best advice for social media, be real, man. Be 100. Be true to yourself, man. Mm. Keep, it, keep it as it is, man. I it's think, I think a lot of people struggle. Uh, you know, I think I've even struggled to a point where, you know, we're not used to talking to cameras. You know, we get scared. I've got you friends in mind. Yeah, yeah, like, how have you seen I look, camera? How you know what I mean? Like, up, up, wait. I'm just like, yeah. Confident. Man's have been para about, yo, I'm going to look like I'm going to You know what, I'll... You know, at the end of the day, you know, man's are you. going for a jug or something like that. Exactly. <laughs> they get me, but... Look at uh, me, I'm on camera, I'm just looking, yeah. talking to you openly. Yeah. But it's not something you that we're think. used to, but I think... You know what you got to think? You're just talking to a phone, don't think about who's watching it. Just post it and don't just look at the phone. It, yeah. Just drop it, let it drop, mm. that's how you're going to know. That's mm. how he's gonna know. I ain't gonna be surprised how much people are nosy. When you're having a shit, they wanna see. They don't see how big your shit is. <laughs> That's how they wanna see. Yeah, them. people like they wanna see. Everything. Like. They wanna see everything. <laughs> they will like. They, I don't know why. You know, they don't like your pictures. <laughs> they don't like them. <laughs> but they just wanna see. They wanna see the sweet, sweet corn in the poo. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I get a pizza. I get a pizza. You know what I mean? What's in the poo? You know what I mean? No, no, tea, no, tea, you know what I mean? They wanna see everything, bro. And for no reason, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like, you want to see the sweet corn in the This is what you call like real pizza. raw. There's no filter, you know, bro. There's no filter, filter man. There's no. Yeah. It is what it is, man. Yo, if you yeah, that, yeah. like I said before, yo, if you got a skateboard, they're happy for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they yeah, will yeah, not. True. The dirty buggers they won't like your posts. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. spy and stalk on you. And then when you say, "I see you," like, every now and then yeah, I yeah. post it, "I see you," and I put like a little idea, and then they disappear <laughs> for a couple of days. They come back. <laughs> they can't hurt themselves. And because on, 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 on the once mm. you get over 15 k, Instagram gives you insights, uh, uh, virtual dashboard, Instagram insights. And you can see how many people go from one feed to another. Yeah, yeah, They'll yeah. They'll watch yeah. everything, bro. Mm. They'll watch everything, bro. Then you got the ghost accounts that come in. Oh, they're the worst, bro. They're the, I used to do a lot of live feeds. Then you got people coming in swearing. People coming in talking about the past. Live feeds, they come and switch it up. And, you know, no. and you know who they are. They think I'm dumb. Like, you know they are because they come on first on their own account. <coughs> Then the own will disappear. Well, I think I think that's a given, you know. I think it's one of the signs that you're doing well, bro. Because there's going to be people hate, that are going to try and drag you down. Like hate, especially more when love than hate. Yeah, I've always yeah, had yeah. hate, but more love than hate. I've always had that cheeky face, but no like it anyway. But it's what it is. Yeah. You need to ask your girl mm. about that. I mean, I mean, <laughs> 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 hey, my fault. You like my pictures? You know what I mean? Is that my fault, bro? You know what I mean? But you know, when you got guys who are, who are moaning like women, women, women want real men. You want men with Rajan. Yeah, yeah. Men, men of Dean, and Dean gives you Roger. Dean gives you Holy Dean. Lad, Dean yeah. makes you. You know what I mean? Dean, you know, yeah, not, not being. <laughs> yeah, you do the you do the loving part. You know, with your, with your wife, makes you get married. Do it in the car, guys. Don't do it haram. Do it in the car. Don't do it. Don't do it. The, do it, the boyfriend the girl. It never lasts. It never lasts. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. And you're gonna end up uh, just in dramas. Do it the legit way. You're always benefiting the legit. <laughs> you know, a man, a man has to be a man who look after his house. He's, he's, he's the care of a woman, the protector of a woman. That's the role of a man. She, if you look at the woman's rights in Islam. Bro, subhanAllah, if you look at the woman's rights, you'll be shocked. You'll close the book and leave it. She has so many rights. If the woman breastfeeds your child, you got to pay her. Yeah. If the woman breastfeeds your child, you got to pay, pay your wife for the breast milk. That's how fair it is for I've the women. That, and the women, see, look at it's deep, bro. It's deep. I know, like, the they're, they're in charge of their own, own money and uh, everything. Yeah. Her hook, her man, and I everything. do know, like I think a lot of people when they start actually learning about you know, bro, it's beautiful. And that's why me and my wife are like me and my wife are like best friends. 
Mm. I think that's important. Best yeah. Alhamdulillah, my wife. I think we should do another up. podcast about you know relationship advice. No, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, make sure women don't uh, get off my snap. Get off my Instagram first, right? Oh, a bit bad. It's all a bit bad. It's all better. It's just to keep it, keep it all flowing. It's all love, you know. But it's true. It's true though. It's true though. You do get people like that who say, "Oh, bro, you know." I think that'd be interesting to talk about. Of course, that'd be hundred percent. Hundred percent. A lot of like social media influencers and celebrities, they get like death threats. Does that bother you? You get ghost guns, but no, they're not about that life, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they're not what kind of. They're not, they're not about that. I'm a one to. I'm a fair. I'm a fair man. Yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've always been alright. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, 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 I'm one of the guys. I'm, I'm never really been intimidated by anybody. I don't really care because, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I said, if you're not wrong, the wrong can never be strong, and the might is with the right. Mm. And I've known nothing wrong. If I'm wrong, I put my hands up. Say, "Go give me a slap." I put my hands up. I'm wrong. If I'm nothing wrong, why should I? T- why, why should I? Why, why should I bow to? I've had a guy come to me. I'm not gonna mention names. And it's meant to be part of the part of some like some big yeah, firm yeah, yeah, nice yeah, from Manchester. Guy. Yo, he comes, he goes, oh, he comes like he's from, he's coming like I'm in Manchester a lot. Yeah. I got a lot of love for Manchester. The Manx love me. I got a lot of love in Manchester. Where are you in Manchester? I love Manchester. I love money as well. Nice I, got, I got a lot for Manchester. Uh, every girl in Manchester mm. knows me. Manchester, you know, I'll get on well with all the Archie's owners. In big up in Merrifield, my good friend, yeah, yeah. very good yeah, friend of yeah. mine in Merrifield. I'll get Hopefully, him I want to get him on as well. Maybe I'll bring him on. I'll bring him on. Like, I'll get him on. Yeah. I'm very close to him, man. I'll, let yeah. I'll bring him on. It'd be a good interesting because obviously Archie's Archie's my very good friend. He's my very good friend. He's a good brother. He's a real good brother, and he's got a lot of haters as well. But you know what? He shows them off more success. I was in Manchester. Some guy comes to me, goes, "Oh, bro, you know." You're in my side at the moment, and this and that. For no reason, I got a lot of friends in my side. Mm. I got loads of companions, lo- and I was like, okay, then. And my side, from what I heard, was it's very, it's very. It's very <coughs> you, you could, but look at Alamak. Alamak is yeah, the heart yeah. of Birmingham. <coughs> Alamak is a place where no one can look at. Mm. It's yeah, the main hub. But, but. Not everyone's not everyone's a gangster. Everyone's mm. calm there, mm. yeah, but it's a beautiful yeah. place. Your mum can walk through. Yeah. Your sister, everyone's a nice place. It's, yeah, yeah. it's a loving place. You're gonna get bad seeds everywhere, but it's a beautiful place. The bro- even the brothers who are active, they're beautiful brothers. Mm. You know, the beautiful brothers. You know, we've had brothers now who just come out recently, who've done done tens and twenties, and they're beautiful brothers. They're friends. They're bro- yeah. also also one unit. Alhamdulillah. So it's like you know. So this guy comes to me. He's gone. Oh, I said. I said. Look, what's wrong with you? And I was having. I was having. I was having a milkshake. I was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, he's like, oh, now do you know why I'm following you on Instagram? I was like, good for you. You know what I mean? Tough luck. You probably followed me, good for you. I mean, you just aim it, yeah, just to yeah, make yeah. a name. Like, yeah, I got him. Mm, you know, look, mm. I struck it on him. Like, he's getting his camera out. Mm. Boom! I just put him out. Oh, you hit him? Cabbage him before he cabbage me, man. God, Wait, you know what it is? <laughs> Find out. Hey, you're wrong. Like look, he's pulling his phone out to violate me and record it. Oh, one of those. Crap! Okay, okay, yeah. He's just gone. He's shuddered. He's over. Yeah, yeah. He's hit the yeah, floor. Yeah. Put me to recovery. I said, then after he's gone, after he's gone, all oh, the boys, the boys are gone. We were cuckoo mate. The boys are coming nowhere. Was he alone? <laughs> he's on his ones. And now he had another guy. Then he got off. Another guy in the car. He just got off. Left him there. When he felt that, boom, he didn't know what time it was. I didn't want to hit him, but I had to, I had no choice. Yeah, yeah. I knew he would to hit him. He'd be glad as well. I knew Father was going to hit me first. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. End of, so as I boxed it, ended him off, then he was going to put him to recovery. And then afterwards, I heard he's meant to be some big time. And uh, I thought, oh, okay, good for him, but he wasn't so big when I'd done him. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> 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 you know I mean? like, the run can never be strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. I would not have harmed him, but I knew my life was in danger then. Yeah. Possibly can harm me, so I harmed him first. Yeah, yeah. Cam, let's round this up this podcast. Round this up. Yeah. Beautiful. I could so, be uh, day, just to finish yeah, off, hundred um, percent. You know, what's what's next, bro? What's what's your future goals? Do you have you any know goals? What, bro, yeah, you know what, Subhanallah. You know what, you're gonna probably say this guy's mad, but you know what, just be a better Muslim, man. Yeah. Wallahi, man. I'm done with everything, man. I've yeah. got two beautiful kids. Beautiful. So, life. in in regards to your career, are you content? Are you? I've always been content. Yeah. I'm even content. My brother, I'm even content. Back in my garden mm. shed, I'll be content with that. Um, why do you think I still work with a normal 95 guy? Mm. That keeps me content. He remembers where I started. Mm. I'm, I'm not about the money. I'm not about the flesh life. I'm, I'm a relaxed kind of guy. I'm, mm. I like the fine things. That I like because you know, I'm you know, from a normal person that's watching you and watching your journey, they're probably thinking, you know, my, you know, mashallah, you've, you've, you've reached a lot of all goals that a lot of people, you know, myself. working with the likes all of Anthony from, Joshua, KSI, yeah. and yeah. all people, these man. big names, yeah. Um, for you, and you know, it's a blessing get, to be able to look at that. People get excited just to even see these people. You're, you know, Alhamdulillah. you're in a position where you know these guys on a personal level. You're, you've got a working relationship with these guys, you know. So these are big achievements. Hundred yeah? percent, big achievements. 100%. So, is there anyone that you'd like to? work with is there anyone that you haven't got just yet you know what you know, is you know what you know who i'd love to meet and who i'd love to work with mm. you know who i'd love to meet and love to work with let Muf- me guess mufti mink okay 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 yeah okay or the haram. okay oh, the leader yeah. of the haram Mashallah. these are people of our deen yeah. or sheikh muhammad yaqubi mm. sheikh muhammad yaqubi yeah. bro Mashallah. alhamdulillah man okay these are the celeb- these are my celebrities bro yeah, 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 yeah. to the world these are the ones that i did to me yes i've yeah. achieved a lot but for me it's the ulama or oh, Mufti Taki Us
Habib alhamdulillah that's what Habib, I'm Habib, yeah. Habib alhamdulillah inshallah Allah, I've got it boxed with meeting him inshallah Allah, in a couple perfect, of months so that's yeah. boxed already alhamdulillah Mashallah. I know very, that very close perfect, I've, 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 I've always been very close to, in that yeah, way too yeah, Habib yeah. got is very close links to him but with Habib mm. it's like it's uh, with Habib it's like um, have you ever met him? yeah yeah alhamdulillah oh, when, when, when he wasn't so high okay, though, okay, okay, when he was just doing normal things and I always knew he was a good brother but with Habib it was it was always there but I'm very close to a guy who's very close to him so we got a thing to come to the UK so I'll box it off anyway that's all patterned alhamdulillah as well, but I want, I want, I want to bring it when the hype dies down. Because I want to be sincere for Allah. Don't say, "Yeah, because I used to be." You know what I mean? I'm not about that. I think, I think one of the one of the biggest lessons that I've taken from this is sincerity, bro. Bro, let me tell you, you know, you, you haven't done anything for clout. You haven't done anything to show off because you've been working with these guys. You know me for 15 years, bro. You know me since I was a kid, bro. Before we even had hair on our armpits. That's what I say. Before you notice, notice. Nati, nati. Nah, bro. I mean, bare plugs. Oh yeah, we don't speak films. I mean, not what we do. We don't. We don't try to do this. Not what we do. Cam, Cam, it's been a pleasure having you. It's been an absolute mind blower, and I thank Allah that we had time to redo this and to get on this. And you know, I thank you so much for your time, guys. And I'm sorry for baffling a bit. And guys, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but I have to keep it 100. And um, no, no, I appreciate it. Thank you. Until the next one. Can't wait.